some things real quickly but uh hi hi everyone how is everyone the doings is everyone doing good good like cheese one moment uh there it is and then i check that and then we should be gucci yep we're gucci <laughs> hi swap my scenes do this there i am hi hi everyone welcome welcome how's everyone doing Everyone having a good day, a good night, been taking care of themselves, staying healthy, hydrated, and wearing the face mask. I hope y'all have. <laughs> I've been very, very excited for the stream, and give me a moment as I take a sip of water. Hydration, important. Um, but, uh, I don't know about y'all, but I've been very, very excited for this. Because, um... We played this on New Year's, Okami, and uh, we're gonna pick up where we left off, and I just love this game. Like, period. And I very much look forward to getting back into it. Like, very much so. And, uh, yeah, no, just straight up. <laughs> so this should hopefully be a lot of fun. I I've talked about before, hmm, how uh, this game particularly isn't too much fun to watch, but at the same time it is. It's a beautiful game. This game's a lot more fun to play than watch, though, I will say that. But, we are going to play it. So, I'm going to go ahead and swap scenes and start launching up the game for us. So, desktop, play, and I also need to make sure I have a controller in hand. Hold on. Uh, keyboard off, controller on. There we go. So now, I got my nice little controller. Yay! <laughs> Ready to kick the boot. I'm going to kick their butt. Yee! And is the game still muted? I think it is because of the fact from New Year's I did mute it. No, it's not. Okay. So I do need to turn my music off now. Yes, we know about your intro. We, we know game. <laughs> so we're going to pick up where we left off. But uh, before we do... Hmm. I want to say a few things. Uh, the first thing is, in the near future, I have already stated this on my server, I am possibly going to be making, or not making, but getting emotes made for us. So if you have any recommendations, hop in the server and uh, put that in there. And so forth. The second thing is there is a possibility of a, uh, a cooking stream here in the near future because I finally got the ingredients for the two recipes I wanted to do. Well, three technically, but... So, that is something to look forward to, and uh, should be a lot of fun. But, yeah, no, that's it. So, I'm just really excited to play this, and I really want to. So, we're going to. I'll be honest, I, I, I expect this game to be done tomorrow and or Wednesday. Assuming we're at a good pace. I don't know how much stopping to read the story like we do is going to slow it down. Hmm. But we will find out. So to catch anyone up on what they, uh, what you've missed, we started the game learning about uh, the eight-headed serpent that was defeated. And how there was the wolf and the hero. Well, a couple of hundred years later, some a-hole decides, hey, I'm gonna take the sword that it was beaten with, and turns out that sword sealed it. So the land got covered in darkness. No, excuse me, darkness. So, the, uh, tree over there, the spirit of that tree, the, uh, forget her name, decided to revive the wolf, aka us, because we weren't, they made a statue. So they turned us, in, the statue, into the wolf. 
and that's where we are, and so we came over here after freeing the villagers and finding out stuff, clearing a path, learning about the villagers, so forth, so on. But hey, if you restore trees, she's become stronger. So we went in that cave, restored a tree, and came out here and restored this tree. And that is where we were at. We also got the bomb, uh, thing. <clears throat> from the uh, firework person over there, and we got the dodge technique from the dojo there. So, with all that in mind, we now have to go to two spots. We already went to the cave, and right now, we gotta go up here to this to be like, hey, well, what are we supposed to do now? We can't get there. Oh wait, no, hold on, I gotta go on to the end of this bridge. I'm signing up a source. Because, uh, the problem is, we don't have the technique to be able to... There we go. This leads to Gata, the most green and fertile place in the region. I heard the villagers used to take the ferry to the forest long ago. Oh god. So, you'll notice that it specifically states that they used to take the ferry. Um... Well, <clears throat> you'll notice that in the, uh, on the ground over here, here's the ferry. It is old, broken, well, not necessarily broken, except for, like, all that holes on it. But yeah, no broken, and there's no one to use it. So what do we do? Well, we can't exactly swim all the way there, because we can't put anything in the water for us to swim on. So... With all that in mind, we are going to return back to the village to do some more story stuff. Yep. 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 And as you can tell, the my model at the moment is very much based off of Emma Tadasu here, Amy. <laughs> and I love it. I know Winston. And Macaroni. Yes, I know about the Explorer System field. We don't need to go s trying to swim over there and drown for nothing. <clears throat> oh, and now we see how beautiful the village is since we restored those two trees. Wow, what's all this? Bill's just bustling with activity. Wonder what's going on. So, uh, there's also another thing we're gonna do. Now that we have the blossom technique, and it actually wants us to do it. So, if we talk to this guy, you know, this is the guy from before that could see when we fought. And you notice he says he wants 15 cherry blossoms. Ah ha ha! What a joy to see life return to this land. There's 15 more to go. We will be blessed with a miracle when all trees are in bloom. So, uh, we're just gonna find the trees here, and just make them bloom. So, uh, that's, that's something we need to do to progress. And, um, but there is a major story event that's gonna happen when we go up the mountain to the tree. However, I am not going there yet. I wanna blossom all the trees on my way first, so that we can not have to, like, run all around everywhere. Uh, not one up here, no. Make sure. Because, you know, don't need to do all that running around when you know you're gonna have to if you don't. Also helps us build up our Astral Pouch, which isn't full yet. So we get that sweet free revive. <laughs> the old woman singing is always funny. Listen to that. That is some old PS2 quality audio, because it is. And I love it. Also, I, I don't know if any of you just saw it, but there are two chests here. So we're just gonna slam. Or not. Game. Game, let, let me slash them, please. There we go. Gimme, gimme. Yeah. And then just right back out. Hmm. <laughs> I love seeing the animations they put into this game. It's great. It's a little touches of detail like that. 
That is so beautiful! Oh yeah, also, do I have any food to feed you with? Uh, let's find out. Is that something else? No, I don't. Okay. I was gonna say, that's something else that'll come in handy, but... There was a tree, I think, back here? No, good, okay. Just making sure. So yeah, we're just gonna blossom these on our way up, so two birds, one stone. Hey, I was trying to speed it. If I hold down A when doing this, aka the bottom middle button, uh, it speeds up how quickly a brush moves, so say you need to get across the screen really quickly. Just hold A, and then you can move quickly. Very nice feature. And if you need to speed draw as well, it's also good for that. Though, not the best. Line these four up. Gimme, gimme. Uh, there's gonna be an item we get later on that's gonna make life a whole lot easier. So now, we're gonna go up here. And this is the big thing. Or at least it should be. I think it's up here that it triggers. So before I run into it, let me check something. Eee. Yep, we Gucci. Alright, here we go. Should trigger, yep. Hey, Saki, my little blossom. You're looking mighty fine, thanks to us. Hey, why doesn't she say something? Hmm, come to think of it, I haven't seen her around lately. She didn't kick the bucket, did she? Come on, Sakya. Let's see that pretty little face of yours. I know. Let's ask old Mr. Orange what's going on. Alright. Also, fun thing. You go around this gate, nothing happens. It's just the normal place. You go through the gate, though. It's a warp. And it's really cool how it does that. I love it. And Sally's no Easter egg of if you go through it backwards. At least not that I know of. Well, let's go talk to Mr. Orange. Oh, and of course we gotta blossom these trees. But we're up here, so we don't have to run back up. This is the one spot I love the view from up here, but I hate having to run up back up here, because it's literally like the longest or the farthest spot in the village. The only place worse is inside the um, tree itself because you have to run all the way to the end there. There we go. Oh, that's all 15! That, that, that's an audio cue to tell us, hey, that's all 15. Oh, then, that's convenient. Hello, Mr. Orange. Hmm, at last. At last, the answer to all my prayers. All the villagers, all the villagers' trees have sprung back- Oh yeah! So because we just sprung all the trees on our way up, uh, we just skipped some dialogue of him like, Oh, I could blossom the tree if only- If only I had all of them blossomed and it was strong enough to handle it. But we just skipped that. It is time to harness the power that dwells within the good earth. Yes. It is time for the Konoha Shuffle. I shall summon back the spirit of the divine tree, Konoha. Oh, Konoha. Sake of Fella. AKA, his special dancing sake. But first, I must break my vow of temperance. I shall gingerly sip the sake, and soon we shall see the blossoms. <laughs> oh, yes! 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 Hey, Gramps! You okay? You got a real weird looking look in your eyes! Or a really weird look in your eyes! Subal! Listen! What you're about to see is the stuff of legends! Ugh! Behold! The secret of secrets! I give you the Kona Shuffle!
And now we have to help him. Also, you notice the orange on his head shrunk back down. I'm just gonna hold down the painting one already so that when it drops to it, here's one of ours. And then blossom. And then he goes to the next one. Blossom! Blossom! And lastly, Blossom! And I think this is the last one, if not that. Look at him go! You're gonna kill it, old man! And whoosh! Magic! And now we get another view and everything is brighter and more cheery. that sweet calmness that it had. And now he's just exhausted. <laughs> oh, I hope you're ready for fan service, everyone. This is the only what type of fan service you're gonna get in this game. Ah, uh, Great Amaterasu. Sakya? You're alive? And you, um, look very nice. Little bug friend, I see your full spunk as always. I also owe this elderly gentleman my deepest things. What bravery. Mere words cannot express the depths of my gratitude. Thanks to you all, I have been restored and re-energized. Of course, the one who deserves my thanks and respect the most is none other than the glorious God Amaterasu. Praise be to you. This is literally the only fan service you're gonna get in the game, so enjoy it while you can! <laughs> I cannot guarantee that it will mean salvation for all of Nippon, but if you restore the guardian saplings spread about the land, you too will benefit from the power that results. I will remain in Kamaki praying for your mission's success. How I look forward to gazing upon you again. May the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. Bye! And say goodbye to the only prisoners in the game. <laughs> Which makes me very happy that that's the only point. Hmm. Does games focus too much on fan service, you ask me? I think mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but like... Eh. Oh man, what now? It's constellation time! Now the skies are clear enough for us to see. Oh. I'm pretty sure this is another monkey, so prepare the- <laughs> It is time for monkey! Monkey, 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 monkey! Monkey! There in the background. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Long have I hidden myself here among the nature of Kamaki. But the time has come for I, Hasugami, proud member of the Hanagami trio, a trio of flower gods, to reveal myself. May my power be of assistance to you on your grave quest. And we now have the power to get to the next area. Hmm. <laughs> Holy smokes! That was Hasugami! With the water lily power, you can create lily pads on water. You can use them across any body of water. Let's try it out! Come on, this way, Amy! Point, 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 point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah,
I've been eyeing that treasure chest out there for some time. Why don't you create some lily pads here? Make them like stepping stones all the way to the old islet. The water lily brush technique creates well, well, lilies on the water. All I gotta do is draw a circle. Come on, furball. Let me see your artwork. Yes, that's it. Hey, hey, wipe the smirk off your face, Herbal! At least we don't have to worry about getting lit anymore. I know! Now that you have this new power... Let's use it to travel a bit further out of the village. Sorry, I was drinking water. I know there's a waterway for a ferry that went out of business. All around here. AKA the place we were at. Our little Sakio is back to her old peppy self, but... There's still lots of guardian saplings that haven't blossomed. You know, I have to wonder, what would happen if Amy didn't go out to blossom more than would it just become then Japan, this small area, this village, and that out there is all that would live, and how would society regress to that? Also, that's a sun fragment. Uh, get three of them, your health goes up. I'm just gonna swim. Come on, let me, let me, Damn, are you gonna let me, there we go. It wasn't giving me the color, usually there's color that pops up. Hey, hold on. There we go. Nope, nope, I guess not. Okay, game. Come on. There you go. Also, I think... No, I need 200. I was like, do I have enough to up my brush techniques? Nah. Should be around here. See a little yellow thing pop up out of the ground. Or not, huh? I kinda swore there was a treasure chest here. Oh well. Alright, time to swim back. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Keep swimming, just keep swimming. There we go. Also, make sure it stays day. Uh, nighttime really has no purpose other than to be like specific events or um, if you want to do a lot of fights that are more difficult, like hunting the demons. So, let's save. Because we just made some progress and got the new technique. And let's progress on one. First, I'm going to sell something. You. Yes. I wish to sell. And sell these treasures, because that is literally all you do with them, to get money. It's just a reward for exploration, which is very good. Like, hey, you explored up here and found this. Here's something you can sell for high cost and value. Which is very nice. Also, the soundtrack of this game is beautiful, I would like to mention. I'll come back for you later, don't worry. I'm just going to swim down and probably only have to use two lily pads. Also, I, I do recommend playing this game with a controller. It, it does play a lot better with a controller. It's not hard to play with the mouse and keyboard. It complements it. It's just, the game is an originally a PS2 game, hence why, you know, it's usually best to go with the controller. And hey, look, here's how that bomb technique we got earlier comes in handy. So we literally could not have progressed the game without this technique. But it's time we grabbed it so early. And to the new area. I hope y'all are ready for this. Ah, it's so dark. What? It's just covered in darkness. Curse bone expanded into the forest? 
I thought evil would shun areas with so much grass and trees. It must really be some curse, the way it changed the forest. So uh, this part is very nice in that it shows you where to go, but you can go forward into the cave here, which uh, the cave does have some story elements, so we will run in there, but before we do that, you'll notice when you walk out there's this little path here, and there's a waterfall back there, huh? Well, I wonder what this does. Let's just go in and find out. Oh, look, a bomb technique is needed. All right, let's drop up a bomb. And we're in. <gasps> Would you look what it is? Well, I guess we'll just blossom it then. All right. Oof. And now, prepare for some beauty. Look at all that beauty being restored. Oh, I love it. And I would say, the stuff, this, I'm pretty sure the stuff is in-game render, not pre-game. Because if you look at the trees, as the camera moves, they turn with it like it does in the game. Gimme gimme. And also, another reason I did this, we now get something very special. Are you ready? The Devout Beam. The new divine instrument, guarded by a guardian sapling, eh? Wow, Saki is gonna spoil you at this rate. Anyway, this is gonna make your life a whole lot easier. Must is gonna try to get you anywhere they can. They need to equip a good divine instrument to practice with it. Remember, there's more than simply equipping them. They can also be equipped as a sub weapon or a main weapon. In other words, you can have two weapons at once, and it, based on what combination and what order, they will have different effects, and it's great. You can even pull off some secret techniques with your sub weapons. Even after your 100 year nap, you remember that much, right? I know you're not too bright, but no sweat, no thinking involved. Oh, I will eat you. Do not test me, you little bug. <laughs> Let's try to equip that new divine weapon. Yes, I know. Sub weapon. Uh, I'm throwing it. So, um, if you put it on as a main weapon, it becomes a whip, and the secondary becomes a shield, which is what I prefer. But. If you put it on the secondary, you shoot the beads whenever you bark. So if you hit triangle, you'll shoot them at the opponent for a very small amount of damage. I'm putting it on the main because, um, and notice, if I keep hitting the button, it will continuously hit the target. And then if I can block the deflector shield, which is going to be very important. Well, let me give you an example. You know that mirror of yours? Acts as a shield when it's a sub weapon. That's why they go to fit. You should test it out, monster area. One more thing. Remember what Sakiya said, don't you? The sacred tree in Kamaki Village will be a guardian, will bear guardian fruit. Each time a guardian sapling is revived, make sure to stop by Sakiya's tree whenever you return to Kamaki. And I will. In other words, it rewards you for blossoming the trees as well. This game does very good at giving you plenty to do and plenty of rewards for doing things. Which I love. Oh, and also you'll notice, when you change your weapons, it actually changes on the model, which I love. And now, the forest is a nice, beautiful area, and... Oh, who's playing a flute? Hmm. Hark, the call of the heavens, the earth, the sea. They summon me forth to defeat evil. Walker, the gods gift the man. Is here. Bonjour. Tell Master Walker. What's up with that guy? That crimson shading and divine instrument on your back. You look kind of 
kind of weird, but I reckon you pack a punch, baby. Hey, think you're so special way up there, huh? Get down here and talk face to... Wait, did he say Crimson Shading? Can you see Amy's true form? Unintended. When all the cursed zones started spreading across Nippon, I saw the shadowy figure that removed the sacred sword, Tsukuyomi, flee into Kamaki Village and seal the entrance with a huge rock. You guys know anything about that? This guy gives me the creeps. Gotta keep your eye on him. Now, I can usually wreck him, but uh. Amy, you getting all worked up again? So I can usually wreck this guy, but let's see, it's been a hot while. Magnifique. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now you shall get earful of my beloved sword. Behold, no talk. I hate that. <laughs> let's rock, baby. And you'll notice why I'm multi-hitting him right here, and it's because I'm using the Invoke Beads, specifically. Ow, that hurts! Oh crap, I could've said that back. Jeez, I am rusty. Been a hot while since I fought this guy. To say the least. There's what I was after! Send that back. Oh, I tried to send it back and it didn't work. Usually you can without a problem, but it didn't let me. There we go. It's been a lot while since I've done that. <laughs> I could have done that a lot better, but... It's been quite some time since I've tasted your power in it, That's enough for now. Too late now. You're the one who picked the fight. Hey, wait. You know this guy, Amy? <laughs> Well, that was pretty tactless. Excuse me, Wavy. You see, I was looking into that cursed zone that struck this area. It consumed all its path, even the light of the sun. It is the curse of Orochi, the legendary eight-headed serpent. But Orochi? Do not utter that name without reason. That alone could curse the weak of mine. Orochi was slain 100 years ago by Nagi and Shiranui, and its evil spirit was sealed away in the moon cave, which I guard. You know, the cave in the middle of the lake over on Shinshu Field. But someone has gone and freed Orochi by removing the Tsukuyomi. The beast evil has caused a curse zone to cover these lands. I never thought the sacred sword would be so easily removed. Whoever did it waited till I was back in the capital. It seemed things are afoot that even I did not prophesize. <laughs> We're way ahead of you, pretty boy. We've been busy dispelling the curse left and right. That Orochi's gonna be mincemeat when more are off him. So, you're the ones who've revived the trees in this area. A lot of time has passed since Orochi's return. You'd better pick up the pace, Mashiri. What? I'm sorry to say, our battle just now was a big disappointment. You're not what you used to be, Amaterasu. You may have defeated Orochi long ago, but one cannot dwell on past glories. You have weakened greatly during your 100-year slumber. That's enough! 
Now tell me about that shadowy figure you saw fleeing to Kamaki. How do we know it wasn't you? Relax, my little bouncing friend. Oh, I almost forgot. I have a little prophecy for you. I can see into the future, you know. I foresee a long and big thrill. Oh, long and big thrill. You'll know what I'm talking about when the time comes. Anyway, I must be off. The work of a prophet is never done. Au revoir, baby. What a freak. Who the does he think he is? Hey, wake up, Amy. We got work to do. Yeah. Yeah, I could have done better. <laughs> so, uh, I just didn't recognize one attack and the other one was just bad timing on my end. But yeah, no, so that is that section. And now we got some other things to take care of. And before we do, I'm going to go save. Also, gimme gimme. There's special stuff like that around where you, if you have a certain brush technique, you can open it or get into it. A good example being here, you, there are three different brush techniques that can be used here. Alright, let's save. Yay! So, uh, this is a fortune teller. If you get stuck, she'll give you a prophecy to the next thing you need to do, which is very nice. Of course it costs money to do it, but you can literally farm money in this game, so it's no biggie. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna progress the story. Yep, and also grab this. There we go. So, I come over here. Oh, poor old man. I wonder if he's okay. Oh, hello there, doggy. You all want him too? I'm Kokiri. Pleased to meet you. Boy of the forest, Kokiri. What? This? This is my fishing pole. Actually, there's no fishing line or hook on it right now, but there's a reason for that. My dog, Ume, and I were exploring a secret place the other day, an ancient building known as Kutso Ruins. We'd never been able to go and all get into the ruins until we found a key deep in the forest. But when we went in, we heard a horrible roar from deep within. I didn't waste any time getting out of there. I locked the entrance to the ruins and hightailed it home. I thought Ume had followed me, but he was nowhere to be found. I bet he's trapped back at those rooms. He must be crying all scared alone. If you know where he is, then why don't you go rescue him? This is no time to be fishing. Yes, well, there's a reason for that. You see, on my way home from the ruins, I fell near the water's edge and it went... The, well, and then went the key. I've trained my hardest to fish it back out, but... I lost all my line and hooks. All I have now is this pole. Try my hardest to fish out the key in the rooms, but... I lost all my line and hooks. So we're just gonna stop crying. We'll stop crying. Ouch! Now cut that out. There's nothing I hate more than a crybaby. You're the one who left your doll in those dangerous rooms. So you gotta do whatever it takes to get the key and go help him. Listen here, kid. This is all about attitude. Attitude. There's nothing you can't catch with the right attitude. Fish babes or whatever. It's all gonna be yours. Go ahead, act like you're having fun, we'll watch. And now, we get to actually fish. So this is a fun little, uh, minigame slash mechanic. The deep abyss, because you can't see the bottom. That's not why these waters are famous. Legend has it, a humongous fish swallowed the moon's reflection on the surface of the water. No one knows if the legend is true. But to this day, the moon never rises here in the Agatha Forest. Give me fair tale for us, but while you kid, it's so gloomy. Think more positive, have fun, fun! Okay, Amy, let's use a slush on brush to help all of yours to help him out. Yep! So now, it tells us how we do it, but uh, we're just going to draw a line to a fish, and look, he's caught a fish! 
And now we have to fool the opposite way of the fish, but not too much that we fall into the red of this character. What about here? And then we have to hit a certain key and slash the fish. And repeat. It's a very fun mechanic. My crawfish. When it, if you don't have a hang for it, it can be annoying. But... Oh, I missed that. That's my B. I, I, I should have brought my brush down and I didn't. Gimme, gimme. You kind of kill me. And now the big fish. Not the biggest of the fish, but it's a big fish. So this one, unlike the others, we're gonna have to slice multiple times. Oh, never mind! Huh! I expected the one on this size to be the multi-slice. Giant salmon. Gimme, give gimme give that salmon. Salmon's actually pretty good. <laughs> Especially if you know how you're making it. it it's pretty good. If you've never had salmon, I recommend it. Well, not in large amounts. Wow, that's a big one. Hmm? Blah! It's the key! Th that's the ruins key! It popped right out of the mouth of that big full fish. Now I can go save Ume over at the ruins. I'm gonna go all the way in this time. No running away from me now. No. No, you're not. Hey, give that back! <laughs> Good move, Amy. We can't have the kid getting hurt on their way well, on your watch. Well, what are you waiting for? We got a lost dog to find and suits full of suit. Pseudo runes. And now, we're just gonna make our way downtown, walking fast, faces passing them homebound. Now, we are skipping a lot in terms of side stuff, such as this shrine, which we can do and unlock some stuff. We're clearing that area over there and getting more rewards. Because we don't need to do them. We're going to come back through all the areas and do those at a later point. Because, um, at one point, before you go on the bridge, there's- I know, sorry, he's looking for the kid right over there. But, uh, there's a few things I need to do. So I have the key. But before we run into there, this guy, you remember all those demon things we've been getting? Um, he's pretty much just like a- he, he, he takes demon fangs, and he gives you special things in return. And we don't need all the dialogue. I love that every character has stuff, but what we're after is the golden lucky cat. We need four more fangs. Because the thing about this is we, anything, that is something that is useful through the entire game. So money and fruits, everything that drops, will just be drawn to you rather than to run around and grab it. Which is going to make life a lot easier for us. And then Golden Peaches fill an old astral pouch, which we don't need, but it is good. So right now, we're gonna head down... ...and go... ...and hey, look, there's a person over there! And guess who it is? What's up, Susano? Hmm? Not you again, Fido. Why must you always log my footsteps? I'm busy practicing a new secret technique. You see, the terrible monster looks at Lorks and Taka Pass beyond this forest. It goes by the name Crimson Something or Other. It's rumored to have 100 followers. What do you mean, Crimson Something or Other? The name slipped my mind, that's all. Anyway, I must rid Taka Pass of that terrible monster before it harms anyone else. But first, I must practice my ultimate secret technique. Then again, the bridge to the Pass is out, so why rush? But have no fear, once I master this bullet technique, I shall bond, bond, bond forth the slight of beast, even if I have to swim those turbid waters. Now leave me be, Yuku, I have some serious training to do. Yeah, you have fun with that. So, we're gonna do this. But before we do that, I need to quickly step away for a hot moment, 
do A, refill my water, and B, do this uh, thing real quick. So, I'm gonna be right back. So just give me a hot second. I'm gonna throw the VRB screen on. Alright, I'll be right back. I have the returns! Yeah, I am back. Apologies, I had to quickly step away for a hot second, and before we continue, I want to check a thing again. Allow me to do that. And we will continue... ...and be Gucci and all that. Yep, we're good. Alright, let me alt-tab back. Grab my controller, make sure my headset's on nice. All that good stuff. There we go. Get my controller here. Yep, alright. And now, we're gonna do this. Gimme. <laughs> Literally like a millimeter away from hitting the box. Open says me! Well, let's go look for that kid's dog. I'm actually hoping we might find something more. Nobody's entered these rooms for ages, right? Just think about it. There could be a fabulous treasure hoard hidden there. <laughs> but enough talk, let's start looking. Alright, let's go. And now for the creepy cave. Look at this. Through the ruins. Creepy. This is also one of my, like, one of my two least favorite areas. I like the area, but it has something in it that I very much dislike. There are three areas in this entire game that I don't like. And that's about it. That's a pretty oddly shaped statue. Look at all that moss. Must have been here for ages. And what's up with that weird water? I don't think you want to go jumping in there for a bowl. How about drawing some lily pads so we can check it out? Then just gonna roll it away. In other words, we aren't going in that. Well, let's save. There we go. And now let's go. Blossom. Of course I'm gonna grab all the loot. This loot! You know, why not? Easy. 
There we go. And before we head out, of course, we got to get this and get money! So normally, if I had that one thing I'm after, all of this would just come to us rather than having to go around and grab it. It's gonna make life easier if we get that later on, but... Now here, you'll notice... Surprise attack! They push down the roof to come in. Now we gotta fight two of them. Whatever one we do... Oh no. Whatever, whatever one we do... There it is! Come on! Oh. I, 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 my timing is really off from lack of playing in a long time. There's one defeated. And this will make two. Take most of his health away with the whip alone. And then just finish him off. Perfect! Slip. Uh, I, I will often use this on the final boss, uh, but a much stronger version of it, just to cheese him. But it was simply if you use it, every enemy within a certain area of you just takes damage, straight up. Like nothing else to it, they, you just deal damage. Um, this open. Yeah! I think I'm gonna get the background music going again. I love the audio of this game, but I also kind of love some music in the background. Cause I love I love having music when I play. And now the fun part. So this area is interesting. But Amy, hold on a sec. My nose felt all itchy since those huge mushrooms back there. Achoo! Dang it! Uh oh! Spooky! Run for your life! <laughs> I made it. Let's go see if we can see them falling still. Oh, no, the last one just fell. Oh, well. Uh, we can't get through this because of the demon lock. Let's fix that. Yeet! So now we encounter one of my least favorite things in this game. This guy. So there are three of these guys throughout the entirety of the game. This is the first one. He is the easiest. But that doesn't make him any less of a pain because how pinpoint you have to be with this. Aha! I am blockhead! I guard this place so that all I all shall pass. Er, wait. Make that none shall pass. Do you really think you can penetrate my airtight defense? Ha! Impossible! Nothing can harm this body of mine. Of course, there are those weak points of mine. A clean blow would slay me in an instant. But I wouldn't be foolish enough to expose such a weak point. Now be on your way. None shall pass. Another fun part! You hit him, and... They pop up. He is luckily the easiest, but you have to be pinpoint accurate with this. Which is very annoying. There we go. Huh? Where am I? My weak point so obvious? I have failed, but let it be known I died a warrior's death. 
And there we go. So we now open the shortcut. And look at that. Logs appear. We can get back up. Oh, wait. Hold on. One more. We also found the key. Hmm. Doesn't this look like the same type of key that was used on that demon that was trying to be sealed? That exercising area, yeah. So what happens if we use this arrow on a lock? I wonder. Hmm. Let's go find out. Come on. Let me up, game. There we go. Money. And fruits. It's taking a leisurely scroll. And the last ones. There's no free money. Oh yeah. And now we're gonna take this nice exercising arrow we got here. Oh crap! Well, I guess we're not going to because we just slipped right off the log. <laughs> Alright, now we're actually gonna speed our way up this time instead. Rather than stopping to get each one. Normally that doesn't happen because there's a slight barrier that when so much force is applied doesn't work. Look at him, he's freaking out. Come back. Shank. Be dead. Be gone, thought. And now, we're in here. <laughs> and first things first, loot. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme that good fruit. And money! Now... Up. Up. There is a save point here, if I may search correctly. Right somewhere over here, but... Oh, I'll fight these guys. You know what, screw it. Money. I like money. The disadvantage of this weapon is that it does not knock in any like the shield does. Meaning they never block it! But, because they never try to block it or never get knocked back, it also causes a scenario like that where you can beat that guy up entirely without him stopping you. Which is very convenient. To say the least. Speed! There we go. I thought there was a safe one here. Or is it further up ahead? I think it's up ahead. How's the look? A broken bridge. Well, I'm just gonna use that old technique we got and fix it on up. There's also a little secret here, if I remember correctly. No, I thought there was. Uh, it might be. Oh, here's the safe point. I was right. It was just a little up ahead. Here we go. Yay. Hell yeah. Gimme, gimme. I love this sound effect. Da, 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 da. It's always so satisfying because it's like rewarding. Also, no, okay, I thought there was treasure hidden there. Yeet. Yeet. And on we go. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -da -da. And now, we have three barrier shrines that we have to beat to progress. So, we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna start at the top. Actually, no, let's go to the bottom and can work our way up. Cause why not? Game, really? I, I tried to slash him and you just went, nah. Okay. I like the one with that demon thing. There we go. And this, we can take advantage of and block him. And then get your ass down here.
So this guy, we can stun with these, which is very effective, as you will notice. And we are taking full advantage of it. Ah, there we go, we finally broke out. And, you know. <laughs> so that was because we stun broke him, also. Spirit glow. Yeah. Those are pretty much me, healing. Speed! Next fight! Give me that demon fang. Give me that demon fang. And then you're going to pop out the ground, and I'm just going to be right back here. To tell you to get out of the ground. Speed! There we go, those are what I was after. How many am I at? 45, we need five more. Get the item master. Spin. Spin to win. And the last one. Spin. And because we have this weapon in particular, we're going to take full advantage of it. Take these guys out. Oh, I keep getting B to dodge, and it's not B. It's, it's freaking D. Ah, and then he's gonna shoot. And I just don't know. Come on. They're not... Okay. That's actually the first time I've ever seen that happen. One of those miss. I can't... I, I, I legitimately have never seen one of those miss on the shoot pack. That's first! I won't hit! And there we go! And I ran out of ink sack, which means uh, I go into normal wolf, but because I just picked up one, I get it back. And now we can progress, because look, there's mushrooms! And if there's mushrooms, we can make them grow. Also, we just got enough to get one more ink sack. Which we're going to do. Join? Now, we're just going to line these two up and blossom them. Blossom! Oh, we're not. Okay, blossom. There we go. Gimme, gimme. Perfect. Oh. Then we're going to look up here. Let there be light! Grow, grow, and grow! Yeah. Hmm, freaky. Uh -huh. Whoosh, 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 whoppa. What the, 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 but here, there's a couple things. We gotta break all these. And also, that chest gives us a map. But because we just destroyed those, watch this. Whoa. We're fixing the water! Somebody poison the water hole! <laughs> that was polluting this water has completely cleared up. Now it looks like a great place for a swim. There's even a waterfall. I bet it'd be lots of fun to go straight down it. Ah, what I meant it was a playful dog like Ume might do that. I, I haven't forgotten what we're looking for. Have you? And of course, <laughs> I haven't given up on hunting down some treasure either. Map time! I noticed that. Oh yeah, Alpharoon's map. 
So this will display this area more detailed. Uh, as in, if I look to the map right now, you'll notice that there are multiple floors that I can look at. Because we have a map of the entire place. Very nice. Also, waterfall! And I'm just going to swim over because this is the fastest way back now that the poison's gone. Kind of. It'd be faster to jump, go up there and jump down, but like, eh. Whoosh! And then right where we're going to land, lily pad. Yeah. Lily pad. Whoosh. Look at that, we're here. So we're just going to... And then... Whoop. Uh -huh. And now we're in the doors. And there's not really much here, but there are some curse patches, so let's just get rid of those. And then there's another curse patch, so let's get rid of it as well. Also, I forget if I can do a certain thing. I want to test it. I can. Yes. Okay. I remembered you can make trees, and I was like, can I? Yeah, I forget. Is that a later on technique, or can you do that as soon as you get it? <laughs> and it's blossom. But what's this? Oh, isn't that the same thing that happens when there's a constellation? Hey look, the light! There's a constellation here too? Speed! Hi Kekis! But you, you just joined in for Monkey! The final of the three monkeys. It is time for monkey. Mm. <laughs> monkey. <laughs> Wata! The trio returns. Oh, where, where's his other one? Uh oh. He lost it. Ah, Amaterasu, origin of all that is good and malicious all. I, Tsunagami, the last in the triple conglomerate of Hanagami, the floor god. I was here for the flute guy fight? Nice. I've humbly awaited your glorious return for a hundred years. May the fresh spring growth blossom from your snow white form. Bring new life to the land that suffers under evil. And now, we get the final of the three spring techniques. Which is a very useful one, might I say. Because now we can get access to a whole lot of new areas. Because, what we can do now, is we draw a line from this to us, and it grabs us and pulls us up. Yay! So that's going to be very important. Because not only is that a mechanic for getting around, but it's very important for something we're getting ready to do. Also, fun thing you can do, mid being pulled, you can have another one grab you. Because why not? As long as it's open, you can do it. I like doing this because it's really cool. <laughs> Whoosh. I know there's one here as well, meaning if I went back outside, I could have used them to get up here. AKA speed! Or shortcuts, but we're just gonna progress on up this. 
And now we have to use these because we can't progress any further, but these are here, so let's use them. And if I turn around... Wait, what? Hold on, oh no wait, it's over there, I couldn't see it, so... And then the Fire Nation attacked! <laughs> There it is. It takes a second for him to render sometimes. There it is. And now, there are four of them up here that I'm just gonna... Yoink! And now, this is an important mechanic for what we're getting ready to do. And, uh, you'll, you'll see that. So, if I draw a line from this, this, it grabs it. So what happens if I draw one to each one? And you notice I'm doing the ups and ends because it does something funny if you do. And now the last one. Right here. And now watch this. It's gonna pull it up, but because they all grab the ups and ends, this makes literally zero sense on how it's holding it up. <laughs> I love it! And in we go! And first things first, we're gonna just, like, get a ton of money real quick. And fruit and all that. There's also a save point, which is very nice for what we're getting ready for. Fuck the chicken strips! Oh crap, I accidentally went back outside. You know what, that's fine. So that's a, that's a spot you can technically farm money by just running in and out of. You'll notice, because these things drop money constantly. And you can just farm money and fruit with that. Which is very interesting. It's not an effective means, but it's a means. So we're gonna save. And now I hope you all are ready for something really creepy. And uh... Let's just say as an arachnophobe, I don't like it. Not like at all in the slightest. But before we do it, look, we get stuff. Huh. And then we also get some money. Not this for quite a cool, but no. We're really going in there? Or right, really? Are you serious? I'm getting real bad vibe here. What's beyond this door? You sure we're ready? Maybe we should go back outside. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna kick its ass. Alright then, let's go for it. Wait first, think later. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and save gate. Look, Amy. There's a golden gate. It'll store the memories of all you've done if you pass through it. That way, if you ever die, you can start over again from that point. It's a free pass to continue with your game, even after you mess up. But it does have its limits. The stored memories will be wiped clean if you quit the game. If you use an origin mirror to save the game, your memories will be transferred there. Either way, passing through a golden gate or saving with an origin mirror will allow you to continue your adventure. Well, we might as well pass on through. Memories of all you've done been stored in the golden gate. So, now we're getting ready for something, hmm, let's just say interesting. Alright, let's go. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Ow, let's go on furball. I keep telling you not to space out like that. Oh? What's that? Hey! Something moved! Whoa! God, dog butt. <laughs> Ugh. Disturbing. Check out this big old flower. We just might have stumbled onto something here. Flowers like this are usually just packed with treasure. Uh, you shouldn't... Hey, look, it's Umu! Hey, is that a dog down there? Get him out 
out of there. Backflip! Hey, let me go, wolf breath! I'll cover him with your slobber again!
spider creature turns into a beautiful blossom, which is very interesting. And thus, Amaterasu was able to traverse the flying covered rooms and defeat the devious spider queen lurking within. The ugly arachnid's body had been turned into a beautiful blossom, and a feeling of tranquility reigned throughout the room. Inside the heart of Hardy Blossom was discovered a tiny and defenseless fellow, presumably consumed by the fearsome queen. Just when everything had begun to settle down, snarling beast, a weapon long sealed away by Spider Queen's magic, appeared before him across his eyes. AKA hey, new weapon! And a very good one! You obtained Divine Instruments Snarling Beast. Reflectors marked with this beastly seal grant ink bullet power. The Spider Queen was hiding a sacred weapon? Tricky old bag. That is one pink dog. Yes it is! Hmm. Maybe we'll get more weapons if we defeat some other monsters. Anyway, I can't wait to see what this one does. Look at that, Amy. That dog's just sleeping. I wonder if this Umu, Ohume, you know, the dog that I was looking for? Let's bring him back once he wakes up. But first, how about a good victory, Hal? It might even wake him up. What would be a boss might as well. Beautiful. I could have done it faster and so forth, but oh well. Hmm. That's a good run. Would you like to save the game? Of course. Of course we're saving the game. Umu. 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 Wiggity Squiddy. Bad doggy. Give me back my key. I gotta go save Umu. Quick. Huh? Umi? Is that you? Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? It must have been so scary all alone. I think we just throw him aside. What's wrong, Umi? About your dog, kid. He was deep within the ruins, and he didn't seem to want to leave. Really? How come, Ume? You mad at me for running away without you? You got it all wrong, kid. You only think you left your dog behind. Truth is, he decided to stay at the ruins himself. He did? But why? Maybe he was trying to set an example by showing you how anyone, even a dog, but have an adventure. Look at it this way. There's not much separating a boy from a man. They grow up before you know it and accomplish great things. I see. So I guess you knew everything, you meant. Like how my dad told me to go fix the bridge destroyed by the storm. And how I tried to get out of it because I was scared of it, while failing. But your fearless adventure has changed me. You've given me the courage to stop shrink home, shrinking responsibility. My dad's fishing pole. I lost it in the forest some time ago. Did you sniff it out in those ruins all by yourself? Well, I'm gonna fix that bridge all by myself. Boy, is Dad gonna be surprised! And now... Gimme gimme. Now this is a really good weapon, and I'm glad I got it. How many things we got? And at 47, I need three more, so we're gonna fight this. Fight, 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 fight. Give me two more. Oh, 
the last one. That's the demon thing. Yep. And that's it. I mean, now I've got all 50 I need. So we can get that one divine pool that will make life a lot easier. Bean! Gimme, gimme. Sweetie, sweetie. easier for us. But for now, now uh, this leads to the bridge. Yes, so we want to go this way. We don't want to go to the bridge just yet. Actually, no, wait, we do, because now that he has that fishing rod, a certain event should happen since he's doing his training. Yep, oh, this is going to be fun. Hey! I lost up the rope to the other side. Look! Hey! You there! Get the rope out of my way! Huh? Zano? What's going on? My new secret technique! Imploding barrel! Flying monkeys! Was a flop! I ended up being washed downstream on this tree trunk. Here he comes! Hold on that fishing pole, kid! No, wait! Let go of it! No, you guys! I said let go! Here we go! <laughs> hey! Use your celestial brushes, quick! So, uh, this is a time limit thing, and it's not very friendly to you, in that you have to be quick on the draw. When those go by, you have to draw it to this. And like I said, it's not very friendly, as in, it, they're zooming by. But luckily, they're very generous on the amount of time they give you to do it. Oh crap, I missed one. And I missed a second. There it is. There we go. And... Whoosh! You should thank a doggy for teaching you that. I couldn't have done it without you, Volt Ume. Thanks. Hey, where'd Pops go? I'm sure it'd take more than that to kill that guy. He's bound to pop up somewhere again. And we can now progress to the next area. Yay! Also, give. Park, park, park. Be honest, I expected those two areas to take longer. Let's prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. Well, let's go on. Let's get going, you big furball. Yay! Paka Pass. So, Taka Pass is 
been cursed too. I bet we'll find a withered guardian sapling around here. And maybe we will. So we're gonna save real quick, and then I'll quickly be right back. Uh, I need to step away for a hot second. Again. But it'll only be for a moment. There we go. So I'm just gonna step away for a second. I will be the right back. So I will be right back. See. Stop my scenes, hold up. <laughs> I stop. There we are. Yeah. Alrighty. Now we shall continue. So, there's these guys here. Both of them have lost an item. If we get that, they reward us. But, uh, that's all there is. And we can't go this way because it's cursed. So, our only option. Hey, look, there's an explosion point. Let's just explode that and see what's in here. Whoosh, cave. The only way we can go, so we'll go this way. Before we do, I'm gonna check a thing. Hmm. <laughs> yep, we're good. Alright. Then we continue onwards. Ooh, pretty. However, though, as soon as we get here, it's the flute again. Hark, the call of the heavens, the earth, the sea. They summon me forth to defeat evil. Waka, the god's gift the man is here. Bonjour. You again? Long time no see. Did you enjoy the little log adventure I prophesized? Why you? Were you behind that near disaster? Noi, of course not. I just had a fleeting glimpse of your future. You see, I have the power to see that which is yet to come. Even if it were something you'd rather not know. Fair enough. That half-baked prophet's at it again. If you're so great, then how come you didn't predict Orochi's return? <laughs> What's wrong, cat got your tongue? Excuse me, all. You say something, my little bouncing friend. That's it. By the way, I saw your battle with the spider lady. A rather clumsy 
the attempt I must say. How could a washed up old wolf like you possibly expect to save the world? Ridiculous. I'll kick your ass. What? You're spying on our battle? And it never crossed your mind that you could help or will help out? Enough talk. There's only one way to settle this. Just go for it. But now we got better weapons playing with. Game, I did the slash. Really? That's getting stubborn, okay. No, you're going back. Oh, or not. Okay. Speed! These are gonna spam though, so I'm gonna take full advantage of it. Oh yeah, it's not a flat attack. It's annoying to deal with, but once it finishes, it's a free hit! <laughs> not bad, Machete. What do you mean, not bad? You're all out of breath. What do you want, anyway? Oh, I almost forgot. I had a question for you. Have you been to Lake Harami, over on Shinshu Field yet? In the middle stands the moon cave where Orochi's spirit was trapped. A barrier has blocked the entrance ever since Tsukuyomi was removed. That means Orochi must still be in there. I want to get through the barrier and enter the cave. But I'll need the serpent crystal in order to do that. You wouldn't happen to know where I could find it, would you? Why'd you have to pull out your sword just to ask that? And why do you want to visit Orochi's lair anyway? So then, you do not know. Trespian. Hmm. So, that big windmill. At any rate, I shall just have to find it myself. But before I bid you adieu, I have a prophecy for you. I foresee a doggone difficult quest. Au revoir, baby. I know exactly what he's talking about, and we've already done, like, all the stuff necessary to beat it. Hey, Amy, let's try and beat Walker to the Serpent Crystal. I can't help feeling he's up to no good. Plus, we just might find a new Celestial Brush technique. Alrighty, that thing clear off. Um, I'm going to continue. Boom! Oh, no. oh, I love this game's art style. And it has very good progression, but it takes forever to get anymore because you run everywhere. And they have very select points you can travel to at certain times, but found it. Also, we're getting a good bit of money, sitting at 42k. That's good. Awesome. And that's all gonna come to me, but I don't need to go for it. 
Awesome! So this is why I got this pool, so I can just do stuff like this, where... It just makes life easier for me. Because I notice all the fruits are just flying over to me. Whoosh! Speedrun! And now... We do this. Whoosh! Time for some beauty! Beautiful. Oh no. 
Well, uh, tan your hide and send you panicking. Boss, let this cocky mutt have it. Hey, Scruffy! Do you even know who this is? This is the mighty leader of the Sparrow Clan. That's right, the great Gemba. Big Daddy Jamba. Okay, boss, take it away, he's all yours. Sure. Uh-oh. The boss is seriously angry. What the heck is going on here? Listen up, Scruffy. The boss Bush's daughter has been kidnapped and he's mad. We're doing everything we can to find her. We've searched all over and no one's getting through that gate until she's safe and sound. They're rolling off of you. Huh, I'm not gonna listen. It wasn't about their boss's daughter being kidnapped. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save. Perfect. Now that little tidbit was important because without that it wouldn't trigger another event to be able to do the next thing. So, there's a house here with two very, very mean and grumpy old people. There is an old woman sitting outside, and she will chase you. However, because we just did that event, the old man should be outside now, and the old woman should be inside preparing food. Or getting ready to prepare some food. So that event come uh, nighttime is going to be very important. So we now have to wait for it to turn night. And once it turns night, we can do the thing that I talked about. But, just to show you, if we jump in here, he's angry. Oh no, the old woman's still there! Huh. Ha. Huh. I was just looking for something tasty to put in my pot. He'll do nicely, little mutt. The horrible mist cutter. You should have kept going until my husband catches us a big beast. She just chases you and tries to kill you. What do you get about here? So, she should be inside right now, but she's not. I mean, though, it triggered the event. Um, alright, well, they probably just need to reload the area, so let's go ahead and head over to the, uh, windmill area. Because that, that event's been triggered, meaning we don't have to worry about that again. Let's just head to the windmill. Bark, bark. We can get another sacred weapon here, where we're going. That's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's, we'll, we'll definitely do that. In we go! Kusa Village. And it's really, really possessed here. And you'll notice my ink sacks are being drained. Yikes! What's this creepy evil atmosphere in this village? There's no curse zone here, but I definitely sense evil. So we're gonna save. And first order of business, talk to this guy. Oh look, I wanted to do some trading over with the gal shrine. But it's been taken over by some monster and panic all around. Oh well, I suppose I'll have to make the best of it for now. Have you, uh, sent, been sent here to do some shopping for your master? And he has the Infinity Judge, which I am a little short on buying. And he also has Gold Dust, which is very important, because Gold Dust is good. Also the Pinwheel, which I will quickly yoink. So I want that, and I want that. So I need 60k yen, I'm almost at that point, which is good. So the next couple things we do will get us that. So we're gonna go up here. And, uh, this is the only fight in the entire game that I know of that you have to do weaponless because of this area drop draining your ink like this. And you don't have to do it weaponless, it's just that if you don't want to use any items, by the time you get up here, your ink sacks are more or less out, meaning your weapons will be gone. What's wrong? Oh, this is most unfortunate. I have been possessed in a momentary lapse in vigilance. And I was trying so hard to defend the village. Now shall reduce the horde person. Alas, my strength. It wanes. All is lost.
And because we notice him, he wants to fight us. Let's kick his ass! Monkey, 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 monkey. I know it's a demon, but like... I mean, honestly, the way they move is like being you. You're the one I'm after. Taking you out while I can while I fill my weapon. Oh yeah, I can't use my... can't use my brush techniques either. So... Boing monkey! Yes, exactly! <laughs> and whoosh! First zone gone. Mm -hmm. And I've been freed from this evil curse. You have saved me, but I do not know how. What the heck happened, sweetness? Oh! Are you familiar with my family, the Satomi House? No, I can see now that you are not. Still, you may be of great service of me yet. Or will you, or will you not listen to what I have to say? You just got talk, we'll keep talking, pretty lady. This one's listening. Oh, thank you. I am Princess Booze, Priestess of the Gale Shrine. Princess Booze. The Gale Shrine stands atop Mount Tamiji. Kazgami, the god of wind, is enshrined there. The wind blowing down from there keeps monsters away. Now as the divine wind, it is entered as our protector. However, it suddenly stopped blowing one day. And that has allowed the monsters to sneak into our village. Even I, the last remaining priestess here, was nearly slain. That horrible monster is behind all of this. Will you hear the rest of my story? There is only one explanation for why the Divine Wind stopped. It is that horrible monster, Crimson Helm. The beast now dwells within the Gale Shrine. The monsters in this area have all been under Crimson Helm's control ever since he appeared in Tucker Pass 100 years ago. My people, the Satomi House, keepers of the Gale Shrine, have been battling the beast and his minions ever since. But last year, the fiends attacked and killed the head priest while he was weakened by sickness, and the Gale Shrine fell into their hands. I remember hearing that story. It was big news in these parts. If only I could vanquish Crimson Hell and free the Gale Shrine. But I am no match for the evil barrier that now all bars entry. There is only one hope now. Only the warriors who serve the Satomi House can right this wrong. Our last remaining hope for defeating Crimson Helm is the Satomi Canine Warriors. The Satomi Canine Warriors have protected the shrine and served the Satomi House for ages. But alas, they are now scattered throughout Nippon. If we could bring them together again, that could break the barrier and retake the shrine. Really? Then why don't you just summon those puppies on back? I have already tried, but I have yet to receive any word of their coming. I sense their presence nearby, but I have yet to find them. What if they were attacked and injured, or even worse? I beg you, would you please sniff their whereabouts? You might find this useful. So now, we're on a little dog hunt. You obtained the canine tracker. I sense five of the Fotomi can Osotomi canine warriors here in the village. There's a temperamental bunch and don't take kindly as strangers. But they shall return to me once they see the canine tracker. The canine tracker will guide you in their direction. Please use it along with their strength to find them. If it does, sweetness, we'll get them all back without a scratch. Can't wait to see uh, how she thinks us, Amy. <laughs> so. We now have to get some dogs. Use a dog to hunt the dog. Genius! Exactly! It's the most brilliant thing ever. So, one of the dogs is up there, down, so forth, so on. Uh, before we go for any of the dogs, there's a thing I want to do. Also, this. Uh, uh, no, no, not that. By the gods, I fell to. You won't ever. Hmm? It's Susano! He's one tenacious dude, I wonder what he's doing here. I bet he's having a nightmare about getting beat up by monsters. Things are frantic, it'd be funny if it weren't too sad. Uh, 
my dream again. Is there no escape? I thought by coming to this village. Hey there, Pops. Wandering around in your dreams, too? Must be nice to be able to nap in the middle of the day like this. Greatest warrior ever my foot. Hmm? Hoochie. And the little bug. Oh, uh, uh, here to disturb my meditation again. Even in my dreams, I'm hard at work while devising strategies for defeating the Crimson something or other. I came here to pray for victory at the Ale Shrine, but lo and behold, that Crimson something or other occupies the shrine. Well, with my invincible sword, there's no need to pray, but mankind's fate rests with me. I must be fully prepared. First, I must sit here and come up with a well-thought-up plan. Hmm, now where was I? Plan? Yeah, right. Let's just get excuse to sleep. Ah. Yeah. Me. Okay. Alright. Now, the thing I was going to do, that was one of them, but there's another one. One of the dogs is also here as well, but that's not what I'm after. What I'm after is to do this. So, yes, yes, yes. So, yes, yes, yes. So, yes. No, not that one. Arch the top. Yes, 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 yes. And yes. All right. Give me that. Give me that. And then meet. Give me that. And now... We got ourselves some better weapons, and also one of my favorite mirrors, because look at that! That's just cool, I love it! Oh, I'm gonna save! And there! And now we'll get the canines! So, I don't think you have to do them in a particular order, and I'm gonna test out my theory. Yep, you know, okay. <laughs> Make this blossom. And here's dog number uno. So, all we gotta do now is feed them. And once they have been fed, you like puzzle play? Yes, it is great. <laughs> now that the doge has been fed and he gives us all that, I am full. My master, Princess Fuse, has summoned me. However, I didn't want to go straight home. You hear that, Amy? That means this dog was one of the Satomi's canine warriors. Canine warrior Shin. Now that my stomach's full, I will return to my master. You hear that, Amy? Whoosh! Hi, Dodge! That way, Princess Fuse will talk about them. All the way I thought they were human. You think these flea bags are gonna buy any help? Or be any help? I don't know. Also, something that makes me very happy is that she was sad about there not being any flowers. And since we made flowers again, now she's very happy. We make, which makes me very happy. They're out! They're out! The flowers are out! I give them water every day, you know? I'll keep on watering them too for as long as it takes. Also, make sure it's face day. Because I don't want to have to deal with the day night cycle. Because this game does have one! And there's no reason why it be nine unless there's specific events to trigger. On to the next village. Also, dig, 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 hole! And then, wall, open. Hi, Doge! Have some food! They look starved too, you'll notice, but... Gimme gimme! I am a fool. Hit on Warrior Ray! Now that my stomach is full, I will return to my master. You hear that, Amy? Whoosh! There he goes, off like the wind! Can you believe these guys? On to the next one! Doge, 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 
So you meant to use the canine tracker to find these doges, but I know their locations by heart, so... Also, here's one of my favorite characters, Mr. Bamboo! Ugh, what a pickle I'm in. Hmm? Oh, what a cute wolf. I'm in a pickle right now, Wolfie. I'm a craftsman and I work with bamboo, as you can see. But I can't get any work while they work on right now. Oh, I shouldn't burden you with my problems, Wolfie. Craftsman, Mr. Bamboo. Boy, that must be some big pickle if you're comfortable while confining in a wolf. Hello there, little sprite. Here to listen to an old man ramble. I always go to Bamboo over in Sasa Sanctuary in Taka Pass, but I haven't been able to get any there lately. The Sparrow Clan suddenly closed the entrance to Sasa Sanctuary. Oh, how I do wish I could craft my bamboo wear. I'm an old man and it's all I have left. To make matters worse, the festival's around the corner. I usually sell my work there, but I'm running out of time. Oh, it ain't the end of the world, Grimes. Well, what if we got ourselves mixed up and now, Amy? Mm-hmm. And now, Doooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooooo
I don't know who this Flint Knight thinks he is, but he's in for a surprise. Because he is! Ouch. And now he's gonna attack. I'm just gonna say no to that. That's how much Hulk is losing, by the way. Oh, I blocked way too early for that. But I still got a demon thing for it. And that is game. Easy clap. Look at that damage. But I wanted this mirror and that gold dust because easy clap. Speed! No more than opponent, I see. Last fight where we have more room. You hear that, Amy? Sounds like fun. This time we'll be playing for keeps. Bring it on, Fleabag. You're gonna wish we you went straight back to Princess Foos when we're done with you. Hey, wait. If he's been summoned by the princess, then maybe there's another one of the Satomi Canine Warriors. Canine Warrior Tay. I am done toying with you. Now I shall feel the wrath of the Satomi Power Orb. Satomi Power Orb? Ah, bring it on, Dog Breath. We ain't afraid. Oh, hey. I thought I had heard something out here. You two aren't fighting, are you? Huh? Fighting? Oh, uh, of course not. There's some friendly wrestling. Look, uh, scratch the line of us. Well, at least now we have five of the Satomi Power Wars. But you've been naughty doggies. Why did you not come home immediately when I summoned you? Hey, Princess, what's with those Satomi Power Wars? Each Satomi Canine Warrior bears an orb of a different virtue. The Satomi Power Orbs are the Satomi's house's greatest treasure. I need the orb's power to break Crimson Helm's barrier, but the Canine Warriors never listen when I summon them back. The three of them have yet to be accounted for. I fear something may have happened to them, but there is no one I could have sent out to help them. Hey, what's with that look, lady? Okay, okay, I get the hint. We'll find the rest of them, too. After all, I said we'd get them all back without a scratch. Wonderful! I'll be forever grateful! I know the general location of the remaining three warriors. I shall mark them on your map. Yes, I know where they are. You have the canine tracker. They shall return here once you have shown it to them. That is, if they have not been injured, or even worse. Please hurry, we must get the power orbs and break the barrier. And with that, we're off! So, there are three dogs. We're gonna go get two of them, and also... Um, just like complete some areas, two birds, one stone type thing. Because remember how we skipped a lot of the stuff in some areas? We're gonna go do those now, because why not? But first, of course, the first thing we have to do is save. Easy. And we're not even like, we're, I'd say we're one third of the way into the game now. If that. Actually, no, one fourth of the way. Right now, what I need. Oh, he doesn't kill him. Dang it. Oh well. Well, that's fine. Oh, does he sell more gold dust, though? I thought it. Oh no, he sold the one. Usually, each merchant sells two. He does! Do I have, I have enough stuff to sell to get more? I do! Perfect. Gimme, gimme. Now he sold out. Meaning that I can make my other shield strong, which is going to come in handy. One fourth? Didn't realize how long to get. Yeah, no! Like I said, the, if you speedrun this game 100%, it takes a speedrunner. The world's fastest speedrun on a full percent of this game was almost nine hours. That gives you an idea of how much is in this game. If the world's fastest speedrunner took nine hours to 100% this game, this game has a lot, and I mean a lot. So, we have been focusing entirely on the main plot. We have done none of the side stuff. And, um, let's just say there's a lot of side stuff to do, which we are about to do a good bit of it. Because, right now, it wants us to go to the different areas on the map, as you will notice by zoom out. It wants us to go back on the map areas and do a lot of stuff. So, we're gonna do that. And, um... 
one of the side missions I'm going to save for later, but do I have... I do not. I would use a mirror thing, but I don't have any, and she's supposed to be able to fill it. Yeah, you need a mermaid coin. And, uh, we don't have a mermaid coin, so... Uh, we can't use this, sadly, until we buy some. So we have to manually run back. Which is a pain in the butt for us. But now that we've done that, let's check something. Is this the guy or the girl down here? Because we can get one of the dogs. The guy. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. We are going to wait for it to be night now. But yes, to put a long story short, this game has a lot to it. Hence why I loved it so much. Why do you think it took me two years to 100% this game without a walkthrough? I, I spent two years of my life when, uh, during the weekend playing this game for fun and 100%ed it without any walkthrough or guides. So that'll give you a pretty good idea of just how much there is to this. And I'm saying, and one fourth is being generous. We could be even less than that. Maybe one fifth, maybe. But while we wait for it to turn night in game, we're just gonna go around and do some of the stuff in this area. Because we can do this one now and uh, get a technique that'll make life easier for us. Bark, bark, bark. Now let's just kill these super quick. Look at that. Easy left. And then he's coming down, but I'm just gonna do this. Boom! He's instant dead. So what I did there is since I have this and the any weapon not the base mirror set as your secondary to block with, will cause it when you block to counter them. And since the weapon's damage is boosted, uh, it one-shots them. Like this guy. I bet you I can one-shot him with this technique. I'm just gonna wait for him to pop up the ground and do his drumming. And on the last hit, I'm just gonna block it and kill him. So he sees me. It's very clear. I'm gonna let him do his drumming thing. And... Dead. Easy. That, that is why I use blocking so much in this game. Dodging if you... or blocking. Because blocking counters if you have the right shear liquid, and it does damage like it's no one's business. Easy. <laughs> Exploration. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Also a doge down here that I really like. Well, I'm gonna take this doge. I'm gonna feed it. Where is you? Doge? Oh, I hear you. Hi! I'm gonna give you some meat. I like this doge. She is fun. Yay! The doge. <laughs> And uh, we're almost enough to get another ink sack, that's good. Don't need to up that yet, we're not making the big bucks. <laughs> now, remember, so correctly, there is another thing over here. Yep, there it is. Also, it's almost night. I don't, I'm gonna do this fight and then it'll probably turn night. Hello, fish! doing this technique. I'm just gonna send these back at him. And then finish him off. Look at that demon thing. Doink! Speed! And do this, and now we're just going to fish him. Easy clap. You can see why I wanted these mirrors and I upgraded them. Like, that is easy clap. I'm also going to get a technique that boosts damage even more later on. So, that's going to 
gonna be fun. Mm -hmm. Gimme. And now it's going to turn knife. Yep, you hear that call? That means it's about to trigger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start running over here. That call tells you it's evening and about to turn night. So now we're gonna relax right here and wait it out. Because yes, and there's Mr. Cutter. So the wife is indoors, but uh, we need to wait for it to be night to do a, spe a special thing. So we're just gonna sit here for a hot second and just rest. Let Doge rest. Doge is good. It is good Doge. Best Doge. Very good Doge. Doge get this slip now. Slip Doge. You deserve. Good nap. Yes. It's adorable. Get the good nap. So yeah, it is evening. It will turn night here any minute. So that is why we're just going to chill here for a hot second. Well, that does that. Oh, I could return the pinwheel to that guy. Um, let's see if I can make it over there before it turns night. Nope, never mind. It literally just turned night. <laughs> I called it. Alright, well, we're gonna do this then. So, wait, you see that? We're gonna go over to it. Yeet! And you like this, but that's not the main thing we're after. The main thing we are after is down here. Right here. So, on the side of the house here, there's a little thing we can go up. And we're gonna do such, and there's this. I'm gonna put a bomb here. Or not. Game. There we go. And that's gonna bust open for us. We get that. And now that this is busted open, we're gonna go in. So, now that we have come through, it's like, hey, the moonlight's shining through. And there's this mean old lady here. And, um, she's only not killing us because of the fact that she already has something to cook. Hey, what are you doing back here again, mud? You got some nerve going into people's houses like this. You wouldn't even make a decent snack, you scrawny mongrel. My husband caught a nice tasty beast for us to feast on anyway. When it's finally stopped feeding, we can dig in. <laughs> I can hardly wait. That's how they say sweeting. The moon's very bright again tonight, isn't it? Moonlight can be a real nuisance for us, you know. It seems to give us strange powers and make us show our true colors. That makes it hard to keep us pretend, well, pretense of a normal life. But we get so hungry on nights like that, too. <laughs> Into the moonlight with you, foul demon! You saw me? You saw me? Where'd the shadow come from? It ain't human, whatever it is. Now you saw me. Now I'm going to kill you. I'm going to eat you all up. Bring it on, you spooks. Come out and fight. And now we're going to wreck them. Mr. and Mrs. Connor turn into demons. Look at them guns. So these guys, in particular, you can't damage them. Um, so you have to wait for them to attack and counter. So there are very uh, specific moments, like that, that you counter them. Speaking of which, ah, dang it, I blocked too late. But, now I can attack him and finish him anyways, because he got stuck in the ground. Easy clap. Look at that. So that's supposed to be a super difficult fight, by the way. But uh, because we A are good at the game and B have stuff uh, upgraded, we just need to clap them. The most evil beings of all, birds! You say as a bird pops up. Oh, it's so awful being locked away by those monsters. I feel so wonderful to be free again. Thanks so much, doggy. Here, let me catch you. Mm -hmm. My name's Chun, precious flower of the sparrow in. Flower of Sasa Sanctuary, Shun. Is that the girl the boss of the Sparrow Inn was looking for? I better get home, otherwise Pop will be worried about me. But if I go alone, those monsters might catch me again. Would you come with me back to Sasa Sanctuary, doggy? Ah, oh, that brat's a handful. Oh well, let's hang with her for a bit. Stupid. Why, you little... Come on, doggy, let's go! <laughs> 
Okay. So now we just head back to the sanctuary where we're at. <laughs> the music is so great, I love it. And off we go back to Sansa Sanctuary. Bamboo Village Salsa Sanctuary. Hey, scene. Amy, isn't this place that Mr. Bamboo mentioned? He said he couldn't get any bamboo to make his bamboo water. Indeed, but now that we have brought back the spin -off. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, you scruffy, what are you doing in Salsa Sanctuary again? The whole Spiro tribe is on high alert at the moment. No one gets through this again until the boss's daughter's found. Huh? Ch Chun! Hi, I'm back! Chun, are you okay? Boss, boss, she's back! Chun's back! Boss, stop! And there she goes. I'm sorry, Pop. I won't go out on my own again. Sure. Uh-oh. The boss is... Delighted? You sure about that? That's why Doggy saved me, Pop. You'll give him something to thank him, won't you? Sure, sure. Open the gates! The boss has accepted you. You're lucky. Okay, then. Better be come on up. But before we do, first and first, loot. Yikimi. Maybe we will collect all these. I plan to 100% the game with you all, or at least for the most part. No, uh, tomorrow, by tomorrow, I expect us to beat towards the end of the game, and we will then 100% it before we beat it. Probably, hopefully, maybe. I want to, but at the same time, it will be very time-consuming. I want to at least collect the hundred beads. I might do it off stream. So, we'll see. I'll probably do it off stream. So, so that way you all don't have to deal with it. But at the same time, I really don't want to, like, waste the beauty of it. But now, we get free treasure. Okay, we are... So, he's just about to tell us that we're welcome to all this. But we're just going to yoink it before he tells us anyways. Because why not? Sure. Yes, I know it. Just big bird, that's all he says, just chirp. Like, that's it, just chirp. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. And the last one, gimme, gimme. Alright, and with that, cutscene. We've been waiting for you. You did a great job finding Chun. We want to thank you, too. When I told Pop about everything you did, he was really surprised. Weren't you, Pop? Sure. Uh-oh. The boss is very impressed with you. We want to give you everything in these baskets as a reward. You can rest at the end down below. And that hot spring behind the end is great for relaxing. Yes. Jesus! Yep, and now that we've done that, the next thing we are after is right over here. Because now that this is open, we can work with Mr. Bamboo. And also, there's a very special thing here. So, there's this guy. We're gonna work with him in a hut. We gotta work with him. Before we do, I'm gonna take this up. Gimme. Nope, we're not. There we go. So, now that we got this guy. You'll notice, uh, he's going to tell us that the bat house is a hot spring, but the hot spring is plugged up. So he's currently doing a dance to free it and a prayer. But, um, uh, the water's not coming out. And, uh, he's going to do something really stupid, as you can see with his prayer. He's prayed and prayed and prayed. Oh, the smell of this bamboo sure brings back memories. Bamboo from Salsa Sanctuary smells like no other. I can't wait to get started making my bamboo litter. 
I must finish in time for the festival. Hey, it's the old man voodoo dude. Oh, hello, Wolfie, little sprite. Thank you for all your help. Ever since you found the sparrow boss's missing daughter, entry as a saucer sanctuary is possible again. I wish I could thank you somehow. Is there something you have been troubled with? Troubled? Nah. But the sparrow over here seems to have a problem. Oh, what's wrong, little sparrow? Please leave me alone. I have to put things right. I won't set a bad example for others. If I sacrifice my flesh to the gods, they will receive the spring. Here we go again. You wish to revive the dried up offspring? I may be of assistance in that case. What? what? Was that? The bamboos on oh, a tube on my back reacts to underground minerals. I should be able to easily detect where the hot spring water is. Sure about that, Grace? Yep, my bamboo was never lie. First, I'll need some help. Now be a good wolf in, dig me a hole, it'll be fun like a game. Yep, thank you both of you. Very well, uh, this is a mini game. So, this is fun. I'm not gonna go through all the explanation for you all, I'll just show you. There, you can use your brush techniques, uh, your, uh, your headbutt, and digging to open paths. And you're on a, on a timeline. And essentially, it's a rush to get down to the bottom. And you can open up the, um, what's it called? Those there, in order to speed up the increase amount of time you have. But we don't need to do that, because we're speedrunning this kid. We don't need that. Simple as that. So the old man's gonna come down here at some point, and we just gotta wait on him. Hey, turn around. Come this way. Or not. Alright, he'll just bump in the wall and make his way over. So now he's gonna drop on down here. And now we're gonna make him speed up by doing this. Go fast, old man. And dig, 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 dig. Easy flap! And love that! Also, the loading screens are mini games, by the way, it's just I don't have them enabled. I should enable them. But whoosh! The hot spring is open! Also, they've been getting burned alive right now, I'd like to mention if that actually were a hot spring. There's difference between a hot spring and a warm spring. And that's a hot spring with that much power. They're being burned alive right now. Water! Water! The water's flowing again! See? I told you my bamboo wear never lies! Well done, Amy! Thank you, both of you! I'll never forget this! You both have free access to the dark wall of the bathhouse whenever you want! And it's just like, boy, this water! Oh, I'll dance the hot spring hop forevermore! Look at him go! Wait for it! Constellation! Look, Amy! It's happening again! <laughs> and this one's actually a really cool constellation, by the way. Like, I, I like this one a lot. It, it is just really cool. Yay! Look at this! It's a literal sea serpent in a bottle! And it's really cool! I love it! And it's trying to break out, but... Ah, I'm a Tadasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. I have remained hidden here, creeping along the water's surface. I, Nurigami, god of water, am happy to spell, bestow upon you my power. Moisten the thirsty earth and restore the glory of nature. I love how characters in this game, they don't have voices. They have sounds of specific volumes that continuously play. So you just know what their voice is. You don't need to hear their voice, as in them talk, you just know it. 
now it's gonna be like, hey, he's on fire, put him out. It's more real stuff. Whoosh. And now, hey, why don't you draw a thing of water up from the sun? Since it looks like it can do a thing. And look at the water that goes whoosh. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, can control power springs. And for doing that, we get a thing. So, there's pressure up here. Blossom! Yeah! And now, we're gonna do this to open the gate. Oof. And the gate is open and we can get the first of three dogs. Up we go! Whoosh! Oh, as fast as the wind! Be gone! Yeah! <laughs> this guy up here is sad because he lost his dog and he has no idea where his dog is. Whatever will he do without his dog? I was bumbling too early. But he's just sad because he lost his dog, but we know where his dog is! And we're gonna get it! Oh, it's not activating. You have to talk to him first. Big upsetting spaghetti. I wanted to just do it. But no, we gotta talk to the guy. We're not allowed to just do it. That makes me upsetting spaghetti. But it makes sense, because you wouldn't know otherwise. But yeah, he just tells you my dog is lost. I have no idea where it is. And it's Ty. I'm screenshotting it real quick and sending that to someone. I have a friend who knows my Ty, as you might know. And I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm just gonna DM that him. Hmm. I just took a screenshot of this and screen sent it to him. Oh, you're crying. So what's with that freaky cry of yours? Puck is lost. He disappeared while we were out for a walk. So his dog is gone. And look at that! The thing has appeared, telling us the dog is nearby. Oh, I thought I already responded. Jeez. Mm. He feels called out. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Dog, 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 dog. I have... <laughs> you have to leave an angry message. What's wrong, Ty? Why are you angry? Huh? Why are you angry, Ty? Huh? <laughs> Puck is back, Pocket. And no, this is Ty right here. <laughs> you know why. <laughs> What's wrong, Buck? Why are you growing? Wait a minute. Wasn't this white wolf who spirited you away? Oh, give me a break. Hey, wait. I think a sea is trying to say something. White Wolf, what right do you have to bear the canine tracker? Fight me and prove that you are worthy. Canine Warrior Gee. Yeah, yeah. You hear that, Amy? This must be one of the canine warriors. That canine tracker really sent him off. What will it be, Amy? Of course we're gonna fight him. Beat the dog's butt? Yeah, exactly. Okay, you sure you're ready? Don't hold back now. I'm going to wreck his shit. Without question. Speaking of which, this is one of the dogs that does that. Oh, we both went at- We're both trying to run at each other. Oh, he's going right in with that. I, I keep blocking too early. There we go. No, I'm not letting that hit me. hit me for barely any damage. And you're almost dead. Come here, you little shit. Like, actually, though, stand, stand still, you little shit! You know what? Stand, stand still, and now die! Speed! Ugh. I would've done better damage if you had stood still for me. Leave him alone. I won't lie to Bully Taco like that. Give it up on a power. You'll try.
body. Wait a sec, Phoebe. We're not fooling anybody. Right, you flea guy? Come on, say something. I know Princess Boo summons me. It is my duty to defeat Crimson Helm. Well, him. The follower of the Gale Shrine. That's why I assert dominance by via barking. Exactly! And spinning! You gotta spin! Chase your own tail! But I cannot return. This place is in grave danger. The monsters will overrun Sasa Sanctuary without me. And the Sparrow Tribe, they would all be. Oh, what shall I do? I'll just take that from you. And then soon use that ultimate attack. What ultimate attack, huh? Is it Steam? What's this? You know the one. The Power Orb has chosen you. I need to worry no longer. The final one? I shall remain here to battle with the monsters for the Sparrow Tribe. Even separated, the hearts of the Canine Warriors beat us one. Hey, wait a second. Speeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Thanks, you Poochie. You saved my life. Now I, got, I don't have to worry about my wife giving me a Willa. And because I did that, I get this, and they both give me items. And because I got rid of the zone... Oh yeah, the moles took his stuff. So I'm not doing the moles just yet, because... Uh, until we get a certain brush technique, you have to rely on pure luck to beat them. Because there's a brush technique that allows you to do the little beat the moles super easy. But, uh, until we get said brush technique, I'm going to wait on doing the moles. In the meantime, we know the fast travel thing. We're going to use it. Make our life easier. We actually, actually, we need to get some money. So... Before we fast travel, we're going to fight a couple of these and get some money. You, fight me. I wish to easy clap your cheek. Look at that two shot. Easy. You, come down here. Attack me. Do it. You won't. Do it. You won't, pussy. And slam dunk. Easy clap. Spin to assert dominance. Next one. I need more money! GG easy no re. Exactly! Attack me! Do it! Dead! Beam! One or two more fights, and we'll have enough yen to do what I want to do. Cause I, I need I need a certain amount of yen in order to do what I'm after. Give me a demon thing. You die. And the same goes to you. Money, money, money. Alright, let's fight one more and then we'll, we'll fast travel to go to the next village, which will also give us a lot of money. So. Bitch, you thought. No, I block. Get out of the air. You're not allowed to fly. Only I'm allowed to fly, like this. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, that's that good money. Gimme, gimme. Alright, that should be enough. Hopefully. Now let's fast travel. <laughs> By the way, how's your bulls day been? I am curious. Has everyone been having a good day? Yes, maybe, possibly. But yeah, now we throw the coins in here, and now we fast travel to the other pond. There we go. Fast travel! I hope everyone has been having a good day and a good night. <laughs> and look, we're back here. Also, make sure it stays day. So the reason I was getting money was for this. Since I usually use the mirrors, uh, high damage and defense simultaneously. I want to get the four wins technique. So what this does is it takes my shield from hitting three times to hitting four times. Which is very nice. Now we're going to be in here for a hot minute because uh, if you do the technique a ton of times, you uh, get a reward for it. So... Now you notice we hit four times instead of three times now, which is very nice. Again! Yeah! And now we are 
going to proceed to do the technique about 50 to 100 times because he gives you a special reward if you do. So we're just going to proceed to beat the ever-living crap out of this. Oh no, we're not at that point yet. Okay. Oh no, no. Yeah, you do it a couple times. We don't have to do this, by the way. We can walk out and we just have the technique. But if you do it, you get a reward. That's why I'm doing it. That's enough for now, he says. But we aren't finished. There it is. Gimme, gimme. Alrighty, that's what we're after. I don't know if he, I don't think he gives us another one. It's just the one. And with that, we got the technique. So our already super high DPS shield now deals even more damage, because why not? Out we go. <laughs> so we can progress the story. And until then, we're just gonna uh, keep pulling Mr. Orange here. Now, where did Cushion go? Near Vestal time, she said. Yeah, this is, this is another thing we're gonna have to do, which we are going to do later. But first... Watermelon! And in here, there should be a nice hidden thing. Beyond just the money. No? Oh, okay. Must be in the other house, I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're, we're just running around waiting for tonight. Ba da ba. Also. Food! Oh, yeah, no, well, I just remember some secret we can get. Now, we can get up there. So we're gonna go do that. And then we'll save. You! Helmet! Whoosh! So, there's some secrets up here that we can get to now that we've come back with a uh, different brush technique. Which is very nice. Oh, Stranger was just there. Where'd it go? Oh! There it is. Oh! I almost got it. That. No? Oh, 
Oh, where's the other one? There's another one around. There it is! It wasn't showing up for some reason. Yeet! That's what I was after. Because now we can go back here. And check it! Special stuff. Yoink! Street bead! And then up here... No, okay. Well, that was the big thing. And then there is another secret, I'm pretty sure, down here. Is it? Yep, there it is. That. Give me. Yeah, give me the base. Of balls. Alrighty. Um, is there anything else in the realm that I'm forgetting? I mean, there is one thing I can do. I'm gonna run up to the top. Also, actually, I just realized there is some rewards we have to claim and also another thing to do. And we are going to do exactly that. So since we spring, well, cause those blossoms, those other trees to blossom, you'll notice there are golden peaches here. And if we cut them down, we get rewards. This game rewards you for making progress, and I love that. Perfect. Now with that, we will go up and get the other thing I was thinking of, and do another thing. Because I plan to, uh, whilst I'm in the area, since I have the brush techniques, do some things, but... Fight. Easy clap. And because we did it so quickly, and he should give us a nice reward. Who was an outwitness? Yeah. Gimme, gimme. Nice. And we're gonna come up here. Hello, birds! Uh, where is... Thought there was... No? Okay. Thought there was another secret up here, but I must be wrong. Alright, that's fine. Alright, and with that, we're gonna jump back down. And just wait for it to be night. Yeet. But sadly, we don't have the ability to make it night. Not yet, at least. And we'll get that so much later. So... In the meantime, we're going to save, and then wait for it to turn night again. Save? Perfect. Alright, now we just wait for it to turn night, so that's going to take a hot minute. And in the meantime, we can chat and so forth, and do stuff. Oh, I'm literally- hold on, let's go see if we can find something. I am literally one away from being able to up my ink count. Which I really want to do. There's gotta be something around here I can do. Maybe. Hmm. Is there an animal I can feed? Beyond him. Let's see if he'll take it anyways. No, I don't have meat for him. But I did. Um... <gasps> no, 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 I know exactly what we can do. There are chickens over here. There are chickens. They'll, they'll take the seed. Feed. No, they don't take it. You would have thought they'd taken her, but... Guess they're gonna get seed. Alright, I'm gonna buy some seed. Then we can level up. Pork, pork. Bunnies, you'll eat this. Yes! Gimme, gimme! Whoosh! And now we can level up. Let's go! Ooh. Nice! Our ink pot count has increased. And we're gonna save. And now we just wait for it to be night! So... Yeah! Uh... Iris. So, I'm just gonna let this go. And wait for it to turn night. Uh. No, that's gonna actually annoy that incessant beeping. 
Go somewhere where it's less insistent. There we go. So, what I was about to say, I got a couple things. One, as I said earlier, I'm contemplating... Oh, there's the rooster time in one or two minutes. Uh, I'm contemplating doing a cooking stream. I have all the stuff to do. Two recipes I want to do. Three, actually, but... um, Would you all be interested in that? Because uh, I want to do it. I really do. And it'll be a lot of fun to do. At least I think so. And the second thing is, do you all have any emote references? Or, uh, references or suggestions? Because I'm going in the near future get emotes made for both the channel here and for the server. And I want to know if you all have any ideas or anything you'd like to see. Because if so, then we will do that. And uh, if not so far, everyone's... The, the vote we have is for an excited emote. But there are two, two open slots, and I'm thinking an excited happy emote is definitely going to be one of them. Because I can agree with that. But uh, as for the other two, it's up for debate on what it should be. I thought about doing a lurking one, but eh... Twitch already has a default lurk emote in it. So, not yet. I'm, I'm going to make that a, one we do much later on. Um, then we'll have something like, uh... I don't know... Hold on. Maybe I'll make a raid. I'll, I'm a, maybe we'll do a raid emote. Maybe not yet, though, but we will do one in the future. Uh, but we're going to do a happy, excited emote. Maybe a sad, and, um, I'm not sure what else. But also, it is dogfighting time. Man, settle the difference is it? at night. Man to man, fist to fist. Fight me! I will kick thine ass! He's gonna jump over to me, probably. But if not, I'll go to him. Oh, he's going in for the attack right off the bat. No! Bad! Okay. Yeah, I gotta avoid that hole, by the way. So this one's the most annoying of the village to deal with, I think. In my opinion. But at the same time, not the hardest. Done! Easy clap! Assert dominance! <laughs> Beam. Okay, you got some explaining to do, Fleabag. Why are you ignoring the princess's summons to wait for a festival? I am not the real Hayabusa. Well, well, the real Hayabusa died along with Olmushi's well, father when they were attacked by monsters deep in the forest. I happened to pass by about that time, but I was too late. Right before ha well, Hayabusa died, she begged me to protect Mushi. She foretold the coming of an evil arrow from the sky. An arrow that would kill Mushi on the night of the full moon. That's how I came to live here in this village. I have been waiting for the full moon of the festival season. Nobody noticed I was not the real Hola Hayabushi Wabusa. At we are the same breed. The night of the full moon draws near. I shall not move from here. My duty is to fulfill I am Busa's dying wish. I must protect this king. Loyalty arm. We got the Satomi power orb, Amy. What was all that she said? I am Busa's foretold. Something or other about an arrow that would kill Mushi. That's not a very happy story for such a festive season. I hope it's not related to the legendary the legend of Melrochi and the Arrow. Alright, with that, I'm going to save and end it for the night. We can make a lot more progress, and I would be down to, but my voice is getting rasped, and I don't want to strain my voice and not be able to talk tomorrow or something. So I'm going to end things here for tonight. So let me go ahead, put my scene, get the game shut out and all that. Swap the scenes and all that, and we'll talk for a hot minute. Let me go ahead and make sure I save, and then I'll close the game. Save. Yes. And then we're gonna return the title. 
Yeah. Oh, crack my neck. Stop it. Oh. Yes, yes, we're gonna close the game now. Uh, and quit. Yes. Alright. So, with that, I'm going to end things for the night. But before we do, as I was saying, uh, a moment ago, uh, <laughs> I'm only ending because my voice is rasped right now, but I'm contemplating A, doing a, a cooking stream. And the second thing is if you have any emote ideas or so forth, feel free to put it in the general chat of the server. Because right now, the two emotes I'm thinking I'm doing is excited and the uh, sad. Those are the two emotes I'm contemplating doing. Uh, if you have, I'm not sure what the third will be. So. I'm currently writing stuff down for myself. So that, you know, I know it. And I know what reference type thing. Yeah. There we go. Alright, well, I am going to end things off for the night. Uh, I hope that everyone has a good night, has a good day, that you all sleep well, and then you have a good week. I hope to see you all tomorrow for the second Okami stream, because I'm going to do it tomorrow as well to make more progress. Hopefully we'll hit the halfway mark by tomorrow's stream. So that will be fun. But, uh, remember everyone, love yourselves, love others. If you don't love yourself, you do not have spite. Stay healthy, stay hydrated, and remember, wear your face mask in public. Have a good night, everyone.